I like to use a Sculpey clay. And um, what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll measure it to exactly how much I need for um, each piece. And then I'll create a little um, base for my mold out of the clay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, put the actual model close to the top. I'm going to cut a nice long section out of here for the hot plastic to go in and fill the mold. And I'll cut out little recesses um, to, so there's no air pockets. I'm going to put it in about halfway. That's about halfway. So what I want to do now that I have the um, piece halfway into the clay, the polymer clay, I'm going to get the edges really, really tight so that when I pour the silicone, I have really tight edges and I don't have a lot of flashing. Now these indentions are going to be for the other mold to match up to. All right, now it's time to glue all four sides onto this um, mold. All right, that should do it. All right, so the mold finished. I ended up taking it out of the clay and um, it came out really well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, put Vaseline all over the mold. Then I'm gonna put the uh, piece back in and then I'm gonna paint the piece with silicone so I uh, avoid any bubbles. And then I'll pour new silicone in on top to make the second part of the mold. All right, the second half of the mold is now done. So let's take a look at this. Look at that. So I'm looking, I don't see any air pockets inside. I would definitely say that was a big win for mold making. Now time to make a new batch of uh, swim baits.